The Lizard Squad, the same anonymous group that brought both consoles to a standstill early this month, is claiming to have carried out this cyber attack on Christmas morning. They overloaded the Microsoft and Sony servers with data, bringing them to a standstill once again. Both the Xbox and the PlayStation could still be played locally, but only if you owned a physical copy of the game. And many games these days are simply downloaded, and those versions haven't been working because the links to both companies' central computers have been broken. And with many games now designed to be played online with other gamers around the world, playing locally can miss the point and isn't much fun. People who use their consoles to access other services online, like catch-up TV or on-demand movies, have also been affected. And all this has left customers very angry. Well, Mark Carter said, £400 spent on PS4 for my son and the games we got for him were useless because of it. Why are billion-dollar companies not protected? And Russ said... 11-year-old daughter's Christmas spoiled by not being able to play the game she wanted to for six months.